Hey, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that gets asked about uh, pretty frequently, and that is um, using either ClickFunnels or Shopify for e-commerce. Um, whether there's one that you know you should use, what the benefits are, one versus the other, um, and you know in which situations you might want to choose ClickFunnels or which situations you might want to choose Shopify, and then lastly, how you can actually use both of them together. How I use both of them together. Um, and how you can get basically the best of both worlds and kind of run your econ business on, on both platforms without um, any of the headaches that you might assume come with, with doing that. So very quickly, um, just the like your fours and against the, the benefits um, of each. So obviously with Shopify, you have the fact that, you know, it's just out of the box. You can really look like um, a you know, really legit good brand um, just by buying a good theme and putting in there some good product images and, and filling out the things you need to fill out that are product descriptions and the about page and all that kind of thing. And really within like within a day, you can have, you know, really legit looking um, e-commerce site that has, you know, every piece of functionality you could ever need and anything that's not included, um, you can get by an app very cheaply and you can basically get that business up and running very, very quickly. And like I said, everything looks super professional. All the processing and everything is taken care of, and um, you know you just you just look like a brand, no matter how um, what your actual setup is, whether you're new or, or whatever. So that's one of the main the way the main benefits of, of Shopify. Um, the second one is going to be if you have a big product range, um, then you're you're really going to uh, you're going to like the way that Shopify allows you to display those get people um, looking through everything in your catalog, adding more products to the to the cart and, and things like that. And again, seeing seeming you know more like a traditional online retailer that has you know all of these different products that maybe builds a little bit more trust with um, with customers than just using something like ClickFunnels, which is gonna be a a lot of people think it's just like a one product um, system where you're just trying to sell one thing, push people through a funnel and um, you know, customers don't like that for, for some reason. That's what people think, but it's not necessarily true. So um, I think that's this all pretty clear. Like most people know what the benefits of, of Shopify are. Um, in terms of the downsides, um, you are a little bit limited in terms of what you can do for conversion related stuff, um, especially compared to ClickFunnels. So Shopify is actually really good for conversions and has a lot of... Um, customizations you can make and third-party apps that you can add to increase your conversion rate. So things like getting people to buy more than one product, doing upsells, doing um, different kind of pricing incentives if people spend a certain amount. Um, pretty much anything that you can think of, there is a way to do it with Shopify. It can just be sometimes kind of clunky, putting it together with these different apps. And um, you know, if you're spending money on Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever, and you want to make sure that um, you know someone comes to the site, they add a product to the cart, they then have an option to you know buy more more than one of those, then they have an option to um, buy a related item, and then maybe something else after that, and give them you know like a percentage off for uh, spending a certain amount of money or bundling specific products together. Like if you want to get that whole experience, um, you can be looking at a lot of different apps, and just the process is not that smooth for customers. A lot of time you need to use um, things that like pop up and kind of interrupt them before they purchase. It can be difficult doing like one click upsells um, and things like that. Um, if you want to do that post purchase, post purchase one click upsells, there's a few apps that about there for that, but you know none of them are really um, solve that problem uh, completely and have have their own issues. So if you really want to get a like a more of like a funnel approach for e-commerce and get something that's as high as converted as possible and it gets you the highest kind of earnings per visitor and the highest conversion rate and order values um, as possible. You can do it with Shopify, but it can be difficult and it's sometimes you know not as smooth as it could be, which ultimately means that the conversion rates and average order values are, are probably um, not as high as, as they could be. So it can be difficult to, to work that out and it's always different depending on what your theme you're using and what you're trying to sell and things like that. So that is the um, that is the the major downside of, of Shopify. Okay, now moving on to ClickFunnels, um, the kind of the benefits and um, the positives and negatives are kind of are kind of flipped around. So 
obviously ClickFunnels is um, this is my one of my e-commerce uh, ClickFunnels templates, which we can look at in a second. But ClickFunnels is obviously built for conversions um, and getting people to buy as much stuff as possible, and you know making them buy more than one things, more than one thing, and really giving people the opportunity to spend as much money as possible without um, any distractions. So it's very kind of um, tunnel vision. Like this is your funnel. This is step one, two, three, four, and people go through it in a sequen sequential way. They have to go through it. There's no way they cannot go through it. Um, the cart page, it's very optimized, just like a one page, um, and then they you know get one click up sales and things like that with absolutely no friction if they want to buy extra stuff. Um, so ClickFunnels, you will you know most of the time find has higher conversion rates and higher average order values, which is great um, if you're obviously paying for traffic and want to get the best possible ROI. Um, where it's not so great is, um, you know, if you want to, if you're a store with 50 products, running all that on ClickFunnels is going to be difficult because it, it is like a funneled approach, and there's not really a way yet to make a traditional looking e-commerce store that then just has these funnels built in. Okay. Um, also, you have challenges around um, fulfillment. So, um, when you um, are, you know, making transactions through ClickFunnels, you have all your orders in there but you need to use some kind of third-party tool to fulfill them. So Shopify has that already built in. Their fulfillment is amazing and seamless and really, really good. With ClickFunnels, you either have to fulfill yourself or you have to use something like ShipStation that is going to send all your information to a third-party fulfillment company. Um, and if you if you want to run like a big e-commerce um, operation with lots of products and lots of orders, it, it's going to be a challenge to um, to do that just with um, with what ClickFunnels has has kind of built in. Um, so those are those are um, kind of kind of some of the uh, the positives and, and negatives of, of ClickFunnels. Um, really, what I like to do, and what a lot of people are starting to do, is they're using both. Um, they're using ClickFunnels as their front end. So when they are paying for traffic, getting people into their business for the first time, they're sending them to a ClickFunnels um, page where they can you know buy one thing. Um, hopefully buy more than one then you know when they pay they can see the one click upsell you know they take that or they don't and then they see the um, the second upsell and you either take that or they don't and you'll end up with an average order value that is you know really high compared to what it would be on on Shopify and then what they're doing is you know they're processing that order in click funnels and then they're using a tool to pour all of that customer information into Shopify so that they can use Shopify as their back end for fulfillment and you know managing their customers and um, then using like the Shopify email tools like Klaviyo or something to you know increase the, the LTV and get people back to their Shopify store to make more purchases in the future after they've done that initial transaction um, in ClickFunnels because sending people to ClickFunnels from paid ads is probably going to give them a higher ROI on their initial ad spend. So that is what a lot of people are doing and that's what I'm doing too. And the tool that you use to do that is called App Trends. Okay, so this tool was literally created as a way to connect um, ClickFunnels and Shopify. So it has no other purpose. It literally takes ClickFunnels campaigns, um, all of the, the payment information, the um, product information, it matches it with your Shopify store, creates the orders in Shopify, and it allows you to then fulfill the orders and treat that customer in the future as if they just bought like anyone else on Shopify. So it really is, um, it really is a great system. People, people have been trying to fix this problem for a while. These guys, um, as far as I can tell, have really, really nailed it. Um, I used their beta for a while, and it was really, really, um, really, really good. And now it's in the, the full version of the um, software, and is is even better. Okay. So I would definitely recommend looking at this, and it will seamlessly integrate um, ClickFunnels and and Shopify. Okay, so that is um, that's the way to get the the both best of both worlds, um, and that is actually what I would I would recommend. Um, in terms of the front end stuff, what I do with ClickFunnels, I'll just show you my funnel. So this is my um, my e-commerce template, which you can get for free below this video. Um, there's a link there that will just copy this template into your ClickFunnels account. If you don't already have an account, it will give you the um, a free trial, 14-day account with this template already in there ready for you to customize for your brand. So this is the landing page. It can either be for, for free plus shipping or for full price products. And if they want to get whatever this initial offer is, 
click here, put in their email address, you're building your list, and then they go to um, a really, really nice slick high convert in one page checkout, which looks like this, where they can buy more than one of the product that you're offering for a discount. And then once they've paid, they go to a one-time offer page where they can buy either the same thing again for a discount, which works really well, or a related product for a discount. Again, that works really well. And that's one click. And then uh, you have a second one-click upsell after that, um, but usually for, for a related product. And when I send my um, you know, Facebook ad traffic through that funnel on the front end, you, you're going to find that the average order value and the conversion rates are really high. Um, so that your initial return on ad spend is really good. And then those customers then go into um, my Shopify store uh, using App Trends. And then from there, I can just um, I can just market to them like any other customers, get them back to my Shopify store to buy more in the future. And the fulfillment stuff is really, really seamless. Okay. So that's the way, um, that is, is the way that I do it. Um, you can do it with the... Um, the basic ClickFunnels plan, 97 bucks a month, uh, really good value. And like I said, if you um, want to use my template and you click the link below this video, you'll get a free trial where you can try it out and see if you like it and test out the integration before you uh, pay for an account and, and things like that. So those are my thoughts on the, um, the comparison of ClickFunnels versus Shopify. Also how to use both together and also when you should choose one versus the other. And I think most brands can really benefit from using both of them together and kind of getting the, the best of both worlds. And once you've solved that integration issue, which App Trends is now done, um, it really is a breeze and you can get the best that ClickFunnels has to offer and the best that um, that Shopify has to, to offer. So in short, I don't think you should use just one. I think you should use both. Um, the only kind of barrier to doing that in the past has been the integration issue, but that is now gone. And um, I really think you should be, um, be using both ClickFunnels and uh, and Shopify. And I hope that shone some light on, on how I do it. So any questions below, let me know. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more like this and check out my um, e-commerce funnel template and the link below the video, it converts really, really well. All right, thanks.